The new carrier now prepares for her ultimate challenge, a grueling series of high-speed turns. The four massive engines, generating over a quarter million horsepower, are brought up to full speed. Cruising at well over 30 knots, crewman's rudders will be thrown hard over. This violent maneuver will subject every part of the ship to incredible stresses. For Harry S. Truman, the moment of truth is at hand. Truman is steaming full ahead. While her top speed is classified, this 97,000 ton vessel is the fastest warship afloat. All engines head full. 100 RPMs indicated as for service. Very well. Get ready, fellas. With engines straining, the captain gives the order. The rudders are thrown hard over. Right 35 degrees rudder. Right 35 degrees rudder, aye, sir. Right now we're uh, testing our rudders to make sure that the rudders uh, have enough power to turn the ship at the maximum rate of turn with speed on the ship. And you can see we're, we're heeling way over. You can't see the horizon out through the uh, other set of doors there because we're heeling over so much. As Truman makes her wild turns, she heels at an angle of 15 degrees. <laughs> this is a good turn. Turning off, so my rudders are right. 35 degrees, no new course given, sir. Left 35 degrees, rudder. Left 35 degrees, rudder, all right, sir. Again and again, the order is given. Truman heels port, then starboard, cutting huge S shaped swaths through the roiling sea. Negative 12 degrees now. All for heaven's sake. Come on up, buddy. Right 30 degrees, right eye, sir. 